And you know, let's, 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 let's say this. Am I honest? You know, I can say anything. I don't really know what sorry means. I've been sorry all my life. I was sorry I was born, is what my mother told me. Uh, I have been at the bottom of this pile as long as I can remember. Everybody's had permission to bite any part of me they want to chew up. I don't really, honestly, know what a lot of those words mean that you guys use. I've often thought if I was young, I'd go back to Scotland and learn how to speak uh, the language I could understand. What does sorry mean? Uh, I hurt. I've been beat with the leather strap. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry because I'm hurt, or I'm sorry because why did I get beat? I don't even understand why I got beat. I just got beat. Why am I getting beat? Why are you got me in a cell? Why can't I wear clothes? Why can't I do like other human beings? Why do I have to be? Why am I into this? I'm asking all these whys to myself as you ask those whys to me. Well, Don't you think I ask those whys to me also? Are you sorry? Are you sorry that Al Hitler died? Are you sorry that Genghis Khan got killed? I mean, I'm sorry Montezuma's still not here. I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry the sky is so dirty and the, and the, and the fish can't breathe in the water. I'm sorry that all the seals get their brains knocked out. I'm sorry for all kinds of things. Uh, am I sorry? Uh, I, you know, the effect make the reason? Do we ponder the reason to make the effect? I mean, where's the decision in it? We, go, we all have to go back to our father's grave and stand and look into our father's grave and say, are you sorry that you sent me out in this world and I have no place to go? Are you sorry that you ran me out of Scotland? Are you sorry that I've uh, been hundreds of years running off into the universal with no place to go, no land to set on? I have to, I mean, I don't know how to deal with this sorry thing, guys. They keep asking me about this remorse thing. I, 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 I don't have a mind that way. My mind is what works. If something works, it functions. And I, I have a mind in procedure. I understand procedure. I understand war. I understand rules, the regulations. I don't understand sorry. Okay, so you understand legal procedure. I understand legal, yes. Do you think you've got a fair trial? No, absolutely not. I ain't no trial at all. I got a circus guy. Okay. Can I just stop the tape now? I'm going to change the tape. went in there and murdered her mother and father. And there's only one thing that holds them to attention. There's one thing that holds majesty. What holds majesty to you? What's held you all these years? What's held the English above everything? What's made Britain such a great place? The little teeny things, Jesus. What has made those people? Because you're ruthless. You're terrible. You go to war, you kick everything, you whip everything. You beat everything you've ever fought. Are you sorry? You're sorry. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I really don't. Okay. I know this. I've been thrown in a position. I've been thrown in a position of world thought, thinking about things. And I've been in myself a lot of years. out a game of cards and you say I don't want to play said, you're going to play whether you want to play or not you say I don't want to play this game said, you're going to play so I'm held down to play this game I don't I don't want this game do you realize man that if I go to court and I'm convicted for being a burglar and I'm a burglar it makes no difference whether I'm really a burglar or not if the court says I'm a burglar 
to all these people that run these places, I'm a burglar. They get their reality from the court. Do you know what I was convicted for in the court of the United States? I was convicted for being Jesus Christ. I was convicted for being the devil. I was convicted for being the leader. Leader of what? Devil of where? Christ of who? In other words, all these things fall down on me that I, 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 I said this and I said that, and then anything I say would be open to interpretation and someone will take it one way, and then I'm on the horns of a thousand dilemmas going with everybody's understanding in different directions, and then nobody's really sure, so as long as they keep me locked up and in handcuffs, uh, then they can represent me, and then it makes them feel like they've got somebody important, so that makes them feel important. So we'll take this letter and tear it up, or we'll not allow him to wear any clothes, or we'll, uh, in other words, like, you think this has been a lot of fun for me? You know, if I thought I could say I was sorry and make it easier for myself, don't you think it would make sense that I would do that? So you're saying you didn't get a fair trial? I'm sorry for, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't deal with saying I'm sorry for something I had nothing to do with, unless I'm God and I had everything to do with everything, and then you're asking God to say he's sorry. But did you get a fair trial? No. I never got a trial at all. What did you get? I got Julio's interpretation of Helter Skelter pushed over on me, whether I wanted it to be there or not. Every writ was take that I had put in was taken away by the highway patrol. My witnesses were intimidated. My ranch was burned up. Everything was a play for the public. You know how much money? You're a press, uh, uh, man. Let me ask you this. How much money does one headline make on the UPI for the whole world to listen to? How much money in one day? I don't know the answer. It's probably a lot of money. Yeah. Don't know so you can imagine what two years of, of press in Bullioses in the office is making. We're talking about fifty million dollars just on the trial alone, not counting all the books. He sold twenty million copies of Helter Skelter at seventeen dollars and fifty cents. That's a piece of change. That's not counting all the movie contracts and all his people that moved to Hollywood and how much he could do on the telephone and a newer law association. And then he put the rumpkin Irishman over there to, to guard uh, to guard his his perspective towards his own his own uh, uh, ambition, his own uh, how much he's made for his uh, uh, for his trip. You know, ask Bullioso if he feels sorry, and he'll tell you quick. Oh, I feel sorry. All the way to the bank. Ask uh, the lawyers if they feel sorry for selling the transcript to Japanese movie company and how much money was made there. All over the world, they made money. Everything could be made money as long as Charlie was a hippie cult leader of a, of a, of a family called Lubisus and a gondola of and all that. Robert left the death, death, the call of the other, better, 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 you know, I'm Robert Rambert left. You know how it got the light up, Uncle Long just got poop. You know, I don't know how to say it, man. It don't just fit in my mouth. So there's no truth in Bilyosi's book? Uh, it's got names and numbers, right? But he's got, he's got no motives, right? There's different motives for the different crimes. Now you're going to make one motive. Henry was killed for one reason. Shorty Shea was killed for another reason. Somebody else was killed for another reason, you know? Everybody, you know, there was, uh, and, and there, I knew of eight or ten more murders that he didn't even bring into court. And they said that I was responsible for all those murders, too. You know, I right, come on, man. I know some people that sold some bad dope in Santa Barbara and it was bumped off, you know? In other words, like, I know people that are killed every day, you know? In other words, when you're in the underworld, you know what's going in and out of these jails all the time, man. You know, that's part of life in the underworld. That's part of uh, what we were doing in the United States of crime, you know? But none of it, none of those people were killed to bring on Hell to Skelter? Oh, I mean, it's a big business, man. Big business. Helter Skelter is going beyond whether it is or it ain't. It doesn't, uh, you know. Uh, interpretation, man. Helter Skelter is what? Race war? How long has there been a race war? How long have we been a race war? English? How long have we been at war with races? Since we come out of caves and you didn't like Irishmen? Did you, did you think there was going to be a big race war, though? There was going to be... There's been a race war. All my life I've been in the middle of a race war. 